Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 using a USB drive. This video will be helpful for those who would like to see step-by-step -step instructions on how to install Windows 11 either on a brand new PC or someone who already has a computer and want to perform a clean install or reinstall Windows 11. So let's begin. If you have already purchased your Windows 11 copy, there's a chance that you may get your copy of Windows 11 installation media on a USB device. If that is the case, feel free to skip to the section where I actually show you how to install Windows 11 using a USB drive. But if you already have your Windows 11 installed on an older computer, and if you want to install Windows 11 on a new computer using a USB drive, or perhaps you want to do a clean install or reinstall Windows 11 on the same computer using a USB drive, then you gotta watch this video completely as I'll show you how to use a USB drive and make that as a bootable drive and copy Windows 11 installation media into it to install Windows 11 on a PC. Now soon after the installation of Windows 11, you need to activate your Windows 11 copy and for that, you need to have your license key with you. As I said, if you already have a bootable USB drive that came with your purchased copy of Windows 11 installation media, you can skip to the next section where I will show you how to install Windows 11 using a USB drive. Otherwise, you need a USB drive to copy the installation media of Windows 11 and you also need another computer to download the media creation tool from Microsoft which would help us to copy the installation media of Windows 11 on a USB drive and make that as a bootable drive. Microsoft recommends using a 8 gig USB drive but I'll be using a 32 gig USB drive. Make sure you don't have any data on this USB drive or if you have data it is important that you back up your data because the media creation tool will format and wipe out all the data that you have on the USB drive to copy the installation media. You can see my USB drive has some data in it, which is nothing important for me. So I'm going to allow the media creation tool to wipe out all the data. The last thing, you need an internet connection because after the installation of Windows 11, you need to download some drivers for the devices of your computer. You also need an internet connection to download the media creation tool to prepare the USB drive for copying the Windows 11 installation media and to make a bootable USB drive. Depending on the speed of your internet connection, it may take some time to download the setup files. All right, the first step, we'll download the media creation tool. So I have another computer here where I have Windows 11 already installed. And I've already plugged in my 32 gig USB drive into this computer. I'm in my browser and I've opened up Google search. So I'm going to type media creation tool, Windows 11 and press enter. I will click on the first link that says download Windows 11 Microsoft. Scroll down to the section where it says create Windows 11 installation media and click on download now. Now it will prompt you to download the media creation tool.exe. So I'll just save it on my desktop. I will open up the setup file media creation tool.exe by clicking on it. When it opens up, it will say getting a few things ready and then it will show you the license agreement. So click on accept. Again, it will say getting a few things ready. On the next screen, it will ask you to select language and edition. You can leave the option, use the recommended options for this PC checked and the option selected for language and edition would also match for another PC where you will install Windows 11. Otherwise, you can uncheck the option, use the recommended options for this PC and manually select the language and the edition. Note there is no option to select the CPU architecture 32-bit or 64-bit because Windows 11 is available only for 64-bit CPU architecture. Moreover, all new PCs come with a 64-bit processor. It is very rare these days to use a PC with a 32-bit processor. 
I will leave the option use the recommended options for this PC checked and click next. Now in the choose which media to use screen, you have two options. In my case, I will select USB flash device as this is where we are going to copy our Windows installation media and make that as a USB bootable drive. You also have ISO file as an option that allows you to download the ISO file and burn it into a DVD drive or use a third party tool called Rufus to copy the ISO file into a USB drive and make it as a bootable drive. I will select USB flash drive and click next. In the select a USB flash drive screen, I will select my USB drive which is E drive. Just in case if you don't see a USB drive or you just plugged in your USB drive to the PC, click on refresh drive list to see your drive. I already have my E drive selected, so I'm going to click on next. Now it will start downloading Windows 11. It will show you a little progress bar that shows the percent completed downloading Windows 11 on the USB drive. The time it takes to download this depends on the speed of your internet. I will speed up this video. All right, the download has completed and now it is creating the Windows 11 installation media. It'll take a few minutes. Okay, it has been completed and it says that your USB flash drive is ready. So I'm going to click finish to close the media creation tool window. All right, the USB drive is now a bootable drive and contains Windows 11 installation media. I will eject this drive and remove it from this PC. Now I will plug this USB drive into another PC where I would like to install Windows 11. While powering this PC, you need to go into BIOS and change the boot order. To go into the BIOS, you may need to press one of the function keys. It can be F1, F2, F11 or F12. And in this screenshot, you can see it is delete button to go into BIOS screen. It totally depends on the PC and sometimes you may need to refer to the manual of your PC. On some PCs, you don't need to go into BIOS. Instead, there are certain function keys or keys that you need to press to simply change the boot order directly. In most cases, it would be the function key F9 or F10. Once you make the changes in your BIOS where you would make the USB drive as the first boot device, you need to save the changes. Again, you need to press one of the function keys such as F10. And if your BIOS supports a mouse, you can navigate using your mouse to save the changes. So in my case, I have opened up the boot manager and you can see the EFI USB device is listed. So I'm going to select that. After selecting the USB drive to boot with, the Windows logo shows up. So you just need to wait for some time. And the Windows 11 setup screen shows up. In the Windows setup screen, select the language to install time and currency and keyboard or input method. For the language to install, I'll keep the default selected, which is English United States. For the time and currency, I will select English India. For the keyboard or input method, I will keep the default selected, which is English India and click on next and I'll click install now. Okay, it says setup is starting. In the activate window screen, it will ask you to type the license key of Windows 11 that you have purchased and this key will be used to activate Windows 11. For this demonstration, I will click on I don't have a product key and I can still specify the license key and activate Windows 11 after its installation. In the next screen, select the operating system you want to install. You need to select the appropriate edition that you have purchased. The license key that I have is for Windows 11 Pro and I'll select that and click next. In the license terms screen, simply select I accept the license terms and click on next. Now it will ask which type of installation do you want. There are two options, upgrade and custom. The option upgrade will upgrade from the previous Windows version to Windows 11 and it is not what we are doing for this demonstration. The second option custom is what I'll select which will perform a fresh install of Windows 11. 
Now it says where you want to install Windows. If this is an existing PC, you may see multiple disks and partitions like the way you are seeing it right now. And if you are reinstalling Windows, any version of Windows for that matter, or performing a clean install, then you need to be careful when selecting the correct drive, which already has the Windows partition on it, because that is where you will install or reinstall Windows on it. If you accidentally select a wrong drive, the Windows will be installed on the wrong drive and you will lose any existing data on that drive. One way to verify that is to use disk management tool in Windows. You need to do this before you start a Windows 11 installation. So I'm back on another computer where I have already Windows 11 installed. I will right click on the start menu and click on disk management. In here, you can see just only one disk, but multiple partitions. One easy way to find the Windows drive is to look at the volume that says boot. So I'm going to expand the status column. In my case, it is OS C drive, which is disk zero, which has the 540 gig of capacity. Okay, I'm back into my PC where I'm installing Windows 11. I have a single drive but multiple partitions on it. For the sake of making it simple, I will delete all the partitions by selecting it and click on delete, click OK. Select the other partition, click on delete, click OK. Delete, OK. Delete, OK. So now I have a single drive which is 60 gig in space. So I will select that drive and click on next. Now it will start installing Windows, copying the files and getting them ready. This would take some time to complete, so I will speed this up. Okay, when it is done, it will automatically restart the PC. Now that the Windows has been installed on the drive that we selected, you can remove the USB drive attached to that PC. Otherwise, it may boot the PC from the USB drive again. We don't want that, so I will remove the USB drive. After the restart has been completed, the Windows setup will resume and it will say starting services, getting device ready and getting ready for a while. It will reboot again. It will say just a moment for a few seconds and it will resume the setup again. First, it will ask about the region or country. I will keep India as the country or region and click on yes. Now it will ask for the keyboard layout. I will keep the default keyboard layout which is US and click on yes. If you want to add a second keyboard layout, you can add it now by clicking add layout. But I'm going to click on skip to skip adding the second keyboard layout. The next set of steps requires an internet connection. The first step, it will look for any updates available for the Windows installation. Next, on the let's name your device screen, I will name this computer as desktop and click on next. And it will again say just a moment and reboot again. And comes back to just a moment screen. And it will resume the setup. And how would you like to set up this device? You can either set up this computer for personal use or for work or school. I will select set up for personal use and click on next. The next screen asks you to sign in to use Microsoft Cloud apps and services such as OneDrive and other cloud apps. I do have a Microsoft account and if you already used a Microsoft account to sign in to your old Windows 11 computer, you can log into the new computer using the same Microsoft account and it will restore all the settings that you had on the old computer. By the way, if you don't have an internet connection or a Microsoft account, let's say you just want to use a local account to log in, then there is a little hack for this. Simply type a dummy email address and click next and I will specify a dummy password and it will say something went wrong because of a wrong username and password. Click next. You can see now it says who is going to use this device. 
this is the option to create a local account just specify the local account name i will type my name and if you would like to use an online account you can click on even better use an online account link but i'll be using a local account so i'm going to click next i will type a super memorable password for this local account and click next confirm the password again and click next just in case if you forget your password you can select these three security questions from this list and it will help you to reset the password so i'm going to fill all these three questions click next now select the second question click next and the last question click next on the privacy settings i will keep the default selections for things such as location find my device diagnostic data inking and typing tailored experiences advertising id and click on accept it will check for updates again and reboot one more time and now it will say this might take a few minutes so you got to wait for a few minutes depending on the speed of your computer all right it has automatically logged into the computer the last step is to activate your windows 11 copy so i'm going to right click on start and click on settings you can see the activation status it says windows isn't activated so i'm going to click on activate now and it reports that no product key was found on your device so click on change right next to change product key and type in your product key and click next and it will activate your windows so this is it this is how you download and install windows 11 using a usb drive and media creation tool that we downloaded from microsoft website i hope this has been helpful to you please click the like and share buttons do support my channel for more videos like these